How you doing out there? It's yours truly, Dave. Welcome to my podcast, so-called podcast. We're doing a podcast for my benefit, not yours, out there in the world. So this is my podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're going to like it. It's just in stereo sound. It's not in mono sound. Um, one other thing. I want to get this out of the open. That the press secretary of the White House, you know her, and everybody knows her around the world. She goes by the name of Caitlin. Uh, that's right, Caitlin, everybody. Uh, I want to wish her a very Merry Christmas and really a Happy New Year. Uh, it, it's all, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. She's the press secretary. She does, she does the brief room with the media. Sometimes, some, sometimes she speaks, she speaks for Donald Trump. So I hear. Uh, so anyway, that in mind, I want to wish her a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and the best of luck in the New Year. Uh, my, my best wishes for her and everybody else who's in uh, who's in the White House. Donald Trump, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. The, the best of all is yet to come. The best yet, yet is yet to come in the year 2021. I want to wish everybody at Capitol Hill and <laughs> White House and the preacher room uh, to have a joyful year. Um, it's going to be great. Everybody's going to be great. Um, I want to wish the very best of everybody out there. Uh, the United States, to California, to Canada, to uh, everything in between. And the Yukon. Don't forget the Yukon. That's right. Uh, everybody, everybody, wish, I wish everybody, a, 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 since it's after Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll see you in the New Year. And big things are going to happen. Big things. I'm going to predict a lot of things, a lot of things, like the Bible code. Remember, remember there's such thing as the Bible code. Uh, there's a real thing called the Bible code. Uh, a lot of historians would know that. Uh, the Bible code predicts events in the world. I kid you not. Uh, Bible code has names in it, and events are supposed to happen in the world, in the Bible code. There's a book about this. Uh, it predicts uh, big huge events in the world about to happen. So let me let me save it for the next podcast. Until then, I want to give a shout out to everybody and anybody who passed away to the pandemic. I may you rest in peace, long long and prosper. And I want to give a shout out to everybody. Uh, it should not have happened this year due to the pandemic. Uh, it started in Wuhan. We all know that. Nobody kind of uh, realized this. That's why, that's why this uh, virus, so-called virus, in the SARS didn't do too much. Here we are, uh, years and years later. Now we have to deal with the pandemic, those uh, coronavirus pandemic. And uh, yes, it's a big deal, folks. It's a very big deal. Now it's like the 9/11. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. It's like 9/11. We got through this. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody's safe and happy. No one died to uh, coronavirus. I, I wish everybody the best. You know, you just never know the day to day to week to week. Uh, just, I, I just wish that. To, just say to yourself, today is the day I'm still alive. Tomorrow could be another day. Just say to yourself like that. Tell everybody around the world about that. And uh, yeah, just worry about today. You're alive. Tomorrow it could be something else. Uh, so. Just promise me, people, keep saying that. Keeps our hopes alive. Uh, we got Joe Biden coming in. I'm very, very concerned about not his well-being, I've got to say. Not his well-being, but his age. His age. That was a big concern to me. Uh, about his age. He's 78 years old. This is no joke, folks. 78 years old. I mean, nobody gets into, uh, no one gets into the White House and be 78 years old. And, uh, you know... He's like the top of the food chain, as they would say, the top of the food chain. Yes. Yeah, and that's that's a okay in my pocket. But I'm just saying about his age, not to do with his politics, but his age. Yeah. As my friend once said, it's age is just a number. I get it with these people. Uh, uh, age is just a number, um, but with the number, it does come with uh, age. Comes with uh, with age, in terms of number. It, you're born at age one, and you're died at age a hundred. So yeah, I'm worried about this with Joe Biden. I want to emphasize that in terms of age. Okay, he's 78 years old, or coming up to. 
I think his birthday was this year, and he turned 79. 79 years old. So he's going to be the oldest guy. They're going to mention this in January 20th when they have commentaries out there. Uh, he's 78 years old. He's a very old guy. Joe Biden, he's not a young guy. He's not a 20-something guy. You know, he's not very young. He's not got bright ideas. It's very hard to get bright ideas if you're the if you're you know if you're in the White House and you became the President of the United States, the man of the is so-called free man of the free world, right? Your commander in chief sort of thing. So, uh, so yeah, it comes with perks. It comes with perks. Everybody it does come with perks and benefits. Oh, people with benefits, as I would say, people with benefits is great. So anyway, that's my rant and that's my uh, statement. I'm going to make a statement and a rant at the same time. So, there you go, folks. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We'll bring in a new year this coming Thursday. Be well aware of that. Uh, I'm going to say Happy New Year at the strike of 12. And we're going to say goodbye to 2020, alone 2021. Big things are going to happen in the new year, in the very much distant future. My friend has passed away three years ago this year. It was very sad to a lot of people in the world. Very much sad. Um, yet at age 45, at age, at ripe old age of eight, at, at age 45. So yeah, he was a young man. People call these people young, young people or young men. And uh, yeah, yeah. So age, age 45 is like you're you're at the middle age. You're like middle age. So you're, uh, so 45 years old is a middle-aged guy or a woman, whatever the case may be. So there you go, folks. He died at a ripe old age of 45. You can believe that. Yeah. And uh, thank God he didn't die to a uh, pandemic. Nobody shot him. Nobody knifed him. Nobody hurt him. Uh, he just died peacefully, just like uh, normal people would do. He died peacefully, and that's that's way that people should die peacefully, and not you know, you could die with other things in the world, but dying peacefully is great. So yeah, so there you go, folks. I wish you would do. See you guys on the new year. Happy New Year, everybody! And don't forget, don't forget, the stimulus package is still going on from the President of the United States, and I want to wish Donald Trump and uh, Joe Biden all the best in the new year. And the new year we'll have some uh, we'll have some laughs, we'll have some celebrations, we'll have some big celebrations. There's gonna be uh, we're just it's just like uh, it's a it's a brand new year, brand new things, and there's much hopeful in this. And uh, I'm hoping, praying that God. Oh, by the way, don't forget the Bible code. Don't forget the Bible code. There's big, huge events in the world. Big. Big, huge events. They predicted the events in the Bible code in the world. So go look it up. There is such a book about this. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Till then, ciao for now. This is my last podcast. Thank you. Welcome to. Uh, I, I welcome you guys into my podcast. You can hear it anytime you like on my YouTube channel. That's right. I'm not going to tell you my YouTube channel name. You guys will have to uh, have to have to figure that one out. So there you go. Until then, I'll see you adieu.